The U.S. housing market is facing a significant challenge with the debt-to-income ratio for home buyers hitting record levels, reaching 39% in 2023, according to data from Fannie Mae. This means that the average American home buyer is allocating nearly 40% of their gross income towards mortgage and debt payments, surpassing levels seen during the peak of the previous housing bubble in 2006. With soaring home prices and many individuals priced out of the market, even a slight increase in mortgage defaults and foreclosures could trigger a collapse. Foreclosure rates did increase in 2023. And buyer interest is evident in various indicators. Google searches for homes for sale, reflecting consumer sentiment, have notably decreased with a significant 23% year-over-year decline. A deeper dive into pandemic-era figures reveals a staggering 45% reduction, signaling an extended downturn in buyer enthusiasm. The repercussions of this subdued demand resonate throughout the market, with fewer buyers existing homeowners face increasing risks of mortgage default or foreclosure pressures. The looming threat of rising foreclosure rates emphasizes the urgency of the situation. The prevailing question is whether distress among existing homeowners will precede a resurgence in buyer interest, encapsulating the essence of the real estate landscape and posing a crucial query for stakeholders forecasting market trajectories. In essence, navigating the complexities of the housing market requires a nuanced understanding of its dynamics. As stakeholders consider their options, the contrast between subdued buyer demand and the looming distress underscores the importance of informed decision-making. Delve into the mysterious world of shadow inventory lurking in our neighborhoods, unseen but potentially devastating. As we pass by seemingly ordinary houses, could they be hiding the truth of distress, foreclosure, and mortgage defaults? Explore the signs of vacancy, overgrown shrubs, and unmowed lawns, revealing the silent crisis affecting 11% of housing units in America's zip codes. Uncover the reality behind the facade, where the illusion of stability masks a brewing storm. Despite temporary government interventions during the pandemic, the looming threat of foreclosure remains, challenging the narrative of an unshakable housing market. Join the journey to uncover the untold stories of these vacant homes, where every neglected property holds a tale of financial hardship and uncertainty. The current economic landscape paints a grim picture as savings rates plummet and financial distress grips households across the nation. With government programs dwindling and free money disappearing, Americans are struggling to keep up with payments and afford basic necessities. Savings rates have plunged to near record lows, with the average American saving only about 4% of their income each month, half the long-term average. The inflation surge during the pandemic has driven up expenses like property taxes, homeowners insurance, rent and grocery bills, while wages have failed to keep pace. Initially propped up by government aid, households are now feeling the pinch as defaults on mortgages, credit cards and auto loans soar to alarming levels. This widespread financial distress, though underreported, signals a looming crisis that could unleash a wave of mortgage defaults and foreclosures across the country. Despite housing downturns already underway in various cities, the true impact could be far-reaching, with declining prices and surging inventory threatening the stability of the real estate market. In Austin, Texas, where home prices have plummeted nearly 20%, the foreclosure rate remains at a mere 0.1%. However, this illusion of stability is bound to crumble as the downturn in the tech industry persists Rather than assuming safety due to the historically low foreclosure rate, in recent years, it's crucial to anticipate the consequences if foreclosures return to normal levels. The speed at which distress can escalate is often underestimated, as seen in Miami in 2007 when the foreclosure rate skyrocketed from under 1% to over 10%. While a 10% rate may not be imminent nationwide, even a 3% to 4% rate could spell disaster for many housing markets. Despite arguments that homeowners with low mortgage rates have little incentive to default, the fragility of the current housing market cannot be ignored. With prices soaring and demand dwindling, there's little room for error. Observing vacant properties and tracking foreclosures on platforms like Zillow can provide insights into the unfolding crisis.
Vigilance and preparedness are essential as we navigate the uncertain terrain of the housing market. As I stroll through neighborhoods, dodging the relentless pit bulls of Phoenix, I ponder another potential flaw in my analysis of the mortgage default and foreclosure scenario. Many real estate investors and realtors argue that the record high equity in homeowners' properties could mitigate the impact of defaults. They suggest that instead of facing foreclosure, homeowners might opt to sell their homes and profit from the equity. While this is a valid point, it still adds new listings to the market, albeit from sellers in distress. Whether a property is sold voluntarily or foreclosed upon, it still contributes to inventory levels. Currently in upstate New York's Columbia County, where I grew up, housing inventory is strikingly low, driving prices upward. However, even in areas with low inventory, signs of potential distress are evident, hinting at an impending shift in the housing market. This microcosm reflects the broader situation across the United States, where low inventory levels may not be sustainable in the face of mounting economic challenges. Well, when it comes to predicting mortgage defaults and foreclosures, I rely on several key metrics that offer insights into upcoming trends. One such metric I utilize on the Reventure app is the mortgage home percentage, which indicates the proportion of homeowners in a zip code or county with mortgages on their properties. Generally, areas with higher percentages of mortgaged homes are more likely to experience increased foreclosures due to the sheer volume of mortgages. Additionally, I also consider areas with lower incomes, as this often correlates with higher foreclosure rates. By combining these metrics, I can identify areas where the risk of foreclosures is heightened. As we analyze the data on foreclosures in Atlanta, it becomes evident that the southern part of the metro area is particularly susceptible based on key metrics such as the percentage of mortgaged homes and income levels. As we navigate this phase of the housing cycle with increasing foreclosures and mortgage defaults, it's crucial for home buyers and investors to stay informed about where these trends are likely to unfold. Generally, areas with lower incomes are at higher risk of foreclosures, while higher income areas are less vulnerable. However, it's essential to examine the specific data for your housing market. If you like this video, share and subscribe my channel for more updates.